If you want to let me Good morning, Dad. Oh, my God. Why did I get out of bed? Because I have shit to do today. I have to go washing. I have about four dishes in my sink that I didn't wash last night. That I need to wash. Shit, shower, shave, dish. Start my Friday. I'm off today, but I do have to do some stuff with my girl, uh, Laganja, later on tonight. Do a little film film for my girl, Gon Gon. Smoke a little. I may uh, make some weed brownies. I may get into that atmosphere of the owns on layer. But how's everybody doing? I got everybody messages. I never, well, I can't say never. Well, I never received so many positive notes. Let me just say that. And it's a lot. And will I post them off? I probably will not. But I really appreciate you all for the kind words and letting me know what I have done to you in your lives and everything sounds and looks so peaceful and, and spiritual and calm. And I got my jib. But some of y'all was telling me some things I couldn't even I couldn't even share them stories because I felt some of it was just a little too personal that I didn't want to put, you know, your biz I feel like I don't need to say all I don't need to share all that. And a lot of times and most times I don't add your names and stuff because I don't want the haters. You know, to start trying to attack you because they know I don't give a fuck. So maybe they would try to come over your lane and try you, and I don't want that to happen. But I appreciate it. And it's letting them haters that be on this left shoulder trying to act like they cool with you. Bitch, I'm right-handed. So you have to be on my right side. If you're on this left side, you know, I flick them off. So I have a lot of bitches on this left shoulder because I'm right-handed. And, you know, even though this bitch can knock you out, but, you know, you flick them, flick that little dust off you. Them bitches can't take me posting that shit. Them hoes can't take that I'm over there working with Road of Wonder now. I'm telling you this. I'm saying this because I fucking know it shows that people actions. And I'm telling Telling you, I'm enjoying every last bit of it. And when 2018 hit in, <laughs> my action's going to show a lot louder than my words. And we all know my words makes it out there. If my words could go viral, just imagine what my action's about to do, baby. And that's why I love negativity from people. Because it makes me want to do more to say, little bitch, you can't fuck with me <laughs> if you wanted to. Bitch. Show these bitches I'm a boss. Bitch, you a percent of what I get, bitch. Is that mean your shit or not? You always in mind can take it. So just watch. I'm going to make sure. Oh no, bitch. No ma'am. Mm -mm. So that's why when I tell you guys, when people say negative things about me or stuff, you have to let that shit motivate you to do better uh, to do better. Cause I don't be giving a fuck. Cause a bitch that talk a lot of shit about somebody is miserable. And I ain't miserable, so I don't give a shit. These are red bottoms. 
And I'm a red bottom all over that ass 2018 watch. And be very polite. It's in, and, you know, hi, okay, no, I'm good. You're going to have that jail. I stay over here in my lane. My lane always been cool. Your lane always been flip-floppy. You don't know who you are. And it's clicks. You know what? I tell people all the time. Clicks are not a good thing to be in. I never been in a click. Never wanted to be in a click. Because a click is a bunch of miserable bitches who don't like themselves and don't like anybody else who have a smile on their face. They all need someone. That's why they are in a clique. And if it's one of them cliques where they feel like they have power over a bitch, baby, please. It ain't hurting me. It ain't gonna hurt you neither. So y'all, just make sure y'all let them haters motivate you and stay strong and get your shit. Baby, what do you think? Do you think me and Katya are just... I'm not here to talk about Drag Race. That's four years ago. Don't worry about my friendships. You worry about your own friendships. How about that? Because I'm cool with everybody. And yes, me and Katia are friends. Yes, me and K Violet. All the girls are still friends. That was a show four years ago. Nobody's still holding on to that, Jeff. But you the fans. And that's just the truth on that. That was four years ago, Jeff. Katya and Trixie give me props every time they're on them fucking mic. Of course we friends. You think we're going to be enemies and she not give me all this sweet shout outs and stuff and all these kind words? Come on. Every last one of them hoes are my sisters. And I know you on Twitter. And I know you see me post things telling them how much I love them both, Trixie and Katia. So don't come asking no questions, baby. Nobody has time for that. No dumb shit. Mm -mm. I'm dealing with dumb shit daily. You know what? Let me tell y'all something. Whenever, and this is why I'm smart. <laughs> It is important to take care of your bills. I swear it is so important to take care of your bills. Other than everything else, you should always make sure your rent, car note, car insurance, phone is paid up to par. November, December, January, February, no shade, when I get back from this trip from Ireland and England, I'm about to pay my rent up until April, I'm paying my rent up until April, because hell, when you really think about it, why not, shit, the money came, Take care of that early. So when bullshit come around, bitch, you know, one thing for sure, quarters, you can sit here all fucking day. Because, bitch, your rent is paid. One less stress move out of the way. Car note, one less stress move out of the way. Thank the Lord I took care of my highest bills. Rent and a car note. And when I tell you I get back, I'm knocking that shit out again. Boop. Even if I put that shit in money orders, it's already signed and sealed with a stamp for my landlord. So on the 25th, that bitch is in the mail. So she'll get that by what, the 27th, 28th, depending on the mail system and what's going on and what day it falls on. Plan ahead, think ahead, you will always be ahead. Yeah. Bottom line, couldn't dry. 
Okay, I'm paying all my credit cards in January. That's my birthday for me. Yes! Pay all of them off, Jeff. I'm about to work out this credit right here. I'm telling you. I'm hoping them people call me and tell me that little thousand on each one of them, we can knock that down to half a bit. You take this and you take that. And that clears my credit all the way out. And then my credit don't have shit on it. But a core. But then I had to, you know, redo credit all over again. But I do have my one, my one uh, emergency credit card. I do have that for emergencies. Car may break down. You may need to pay rent for a month. You may need to go out of town for one credit card. Patty LaBelle coming to town. Bitch, you got your car. That's what I got it for anyway. I had the same car for 20 some years. You know, just the same account, just ready days. But you have to plan ahead, gloves. And life. And your livelihood. Because just think about it. If you come across, mm, say about $6,000. Say your rent, well, my rent ain't nowhere near $800. Way more than that. Shit. But then say your rent is like, let us shoot out thirteen hundred, and you got six thousand dollars, and you just want it, or somebody you did the job and it came in. When you just want to pay your rent up, you like I got all this money. What to do? Don't blow it first, bitch. At least pay one month, a half, a month and a half of rent. Take care of that, cause that's one less stress off your shoulder when you think about it. Because I said here the other day, Doshe, and I was thinking, oh, man, I had to, um, okay, let me go pay my car note. I'm thinking, bitch, you paid that car note early part of this month. And my car note ain't due until the 18th. I paid that bitch like on the second or the, like the fourth, I think it was, I paid it. Take what? Take November and December. Christmas coming too. Baby, please. You can't buy gifts, pay rent, do car, no, pay insurance, no, nobody got time for that. Then you stress it out and she like, fuck, why didn't I do this early? Nah, I took care of that. I took care of that. And to me, it helps me out a lot because it free my time up. For some reason, I feel like I have extra time to take care of things because I don't have to worry about rent in the car note. I'm like, oh, bitch, I go. I could go. Because my car note paid. My rent is paid. So I don't know. That was just on my heart. But it's the truth, though. Did you understand where I'm coming from? It was just really on me this morning. Well, after I talked to someone for about two hours on the phone, one of my dishes was going, you know, having a little situation. And I guess people really do call me for advice, Jeff. Because I had to, well, you know, in my shoes, what I would do, you know, to fix it for myself. But I won't be stressed out. You may have to turn things around and look at it a different way. All right, for Germany. I always wonder if I moved to Germany when I was like 16, would I have? No, I wouldn't have stayed. I would have definitely brought my ass home because my brother was over there for what, a year or two, no, two, three years. I would have came back. I would have finished school over there in Germany and came back. But I was scared, just. I didn't want to leave my mommy just. <clears throat> I hope your raw show will be just as. If, oh, baby, it is. It's everything. It's the same thing as this. I'm in drag. Doing the same exact shit. It's nothing different. But it was so much fun to work with them over there. Baby. Yeah, so it's going to be 
very informative. I'm going to be talking about life things, you know, everything. It's, I swear, it's no different than what I do now. It just have structure. Like, it's going to be, you know, I'm pretty sure they're going to make it, you know, all make sense. But laughing, but still getting the message, trust me, you're going to get that. You are going to get it. I feel good all over, Jiz. It's about time, Jiz. Oh, thank you, Aaron. You know, it's about time, but sometimes some things don't be, it don't be the time, but it's the time now to do it. And I'm so honored and thankful for it. So honored and thankful for it. I think new doors is going to open up. More blessings is going to come through. I'll be able to get blessed. I'll be able to bless others. And I hopefully a lot more people get their gist. Shit. Get, uh, time for what? The Jish. Yes, I'm so excited though. <coughs> I'm so excited. And every time I check my social media, I mean, the outpouring love I've been, been receiving from, <coughs> excuse me, um, from my Jishies around has been amazing. It's amazing. Really amazing. Because I'll tell you this much. I am not disappointing y'all with these videos for coming up. But I'm still going to do my own, you know, my stuff. I'm just going to do those a little more, actually. Somebody really is like, bitch, look. You need to just get up and drag like you used to and just spit them out. We don't care if they in the same look. We just need to hear, I have something to say. And I was like, oh, honey. And in the middle of that conversation last night, somebody came up and said, I'm about to go, but I just want to say you did a wonderful job. I love you. I watch you live. But you need to start doing your I have something to say again. Okay. Got right back into the conversation. Somebody else came over. I'm so sorry. And I could see them like, you know, excited, want to come over, and I was like, come on. They came right on over. I'm so sorry. I took a picture. They was like, please do more videos. I'm like, okay. So I'm like, okay. I had three people telling me that within not even 10 minutes. In my face, I got to do something, Jim. And then you, you know, my Jim, she's on here always telling me to do something. Hey, sis. So, hola. So I'm going to go ahead. Okay, come on, tagline. I'm like, wow. I just never really expect like people to be watching my stuff. Even when I see the numbers and stuff, I still get gagged like, what? But then it's kind of freaky, though. You're like, that many people seen this video? But I love it, Jill. Do you still have just t-shirts? And what about I have something to say to you? You know what? I thought about it, Jim. I'm going to figure it out, though, Jeff. Because <clears throat> I did. I have thought about it. And pop the corn so the kids can eat. And cut, cut. And panties, bitch. And all of that stuff. Oh, Lord. I just be thinking, is people going to buy this shit? You know, that's my only thing. 
I got to make sure this shit sells because I don't want this shit in my house. And no Tino Shade, I really don't want to pay nobody, no company to be doing what I could do. You know, I'd rather just pay. Uh, hey, Valentina. I know it's you because you got the check, Jeff. What's going on? Is that the real Valentina? You never really know. But if it's the real one, hey, it says. If it's the fake one, hey, it says. You know, I never know. Because <laughs> everything is fake. But I see the check mark, so that must be my little sister. Hey, Valentina, Jess. Keep fucking them up if it's you, Jess. Keep. Do what you do. Smile pretty. Walk through. And let them haters keep. Rising you up. Get that check, bitch. <laughs> because they cashing in, you. And the girls are bad, you. But fuck it. But whether if it's the real one or the fake one, still. I still tell them the same thing. Baby, you talking to me. And you are wearing me out. Now I don't want to talk to you right now because you're going to talk about your boyfriend. You cheating on him. He cheating on you. Y'all don't know what's going on. He may get deported. Girl, it's like going on. Everyone get that fucking jet. They need to get that fucking jet. Let me read some of these comments up here. Check mark. Bad part. Right. And oh, I love you too. To Icon on Life. Okay. <clears throat> oh, yeah. It is. Okay. I'm going to have to see this watching. Relationship advice. Honesty. Communication. Respect. You need those three up in there. And with all them three, love is in there. So you don't have to say love because that should already be there. Y'all have to know in a relationship. For one, I'm not here to do no short term. I'm not trying to do three months, six months, a year and a half. I'm trying to do long haul to the end of it. I'm trying to be together forever. Shit. Fuck that breaking up in three months and getting your feelings all in and then you're with somebody else and your feelings. I don't think my heart could take all that. That's a lot of crying and emotions and shit. People hurt. Oh, I, baby. Mm -mm. But you guys, once you're in a relationship, you have to be the relay. It's not have to be the ship. So y'all could be relationship together. Because as haters out there that's going to hate your relationship, whether if your man or your girl or whoever is butt-ass, flavor flay, ugly, they are still going to want your mate because your mate have someone because you seen something in this not so pretty looking person somebody else is gonna want them so you have to be where you know that you ain't got to worry about that and it's so hard to go through that with a relationship because it's so easy to go out there and cheat and everybody thinking it's the hot thing to do to be a side chick or a side piece. Baby, back in the day, you was a side. You was getting your ass whooped. You was getting your ass whooped. The man was getting stalled or, you know, whatever. They, some women went a little deep. I won't say nothing like that. But, you know, it wasn't all that. But now it's like every bitch want to be, oh, I'm the side bitch. Bitch, side my ass. As what you not, because I'm going to whoop your ass. You know, but, and I'm not a, you know, I'm not a violent person, but you ain't gonna, and this is why I say I whooped that ass. Because you really didn't have to tell, you didn't have to cheat. And I keep telling people what to do, go the way, but I would probably want to just tap that ass for a second. Just, you dumb ass. But. Relationships, you have to be, it's me and you against the world. 
keep your business to yourself. I know somebody right now who is going, well, I know a few people actually, who is going through it. And somebody even said it on here that they parent or their family member is going through it or something with their mate or something and they don't want them back together. Because you can't tell your family, you can't tell your friends, your business, everything they don't need to know. If y'all got into an argument over something that's in-house business, you don't need to pick up the phone and tell somebody. You don't need to call your mama. You don't need to call your sister. You don't need to call your best friend. I know you need to talk and you need to vent. And you need to find someone that's probably way across the fucking world. Like I have my best friend, Cashman Cavalier. She way across the fucking world. I could tell her whatever. But she not in my space. So she don't have to see my mate ever. Because she way over there and she come whatever. But you know what I mean? You just learn how, you got to learn how to keep things to yourself and figure out another way to get it out. Because once your family and your friends turn their attitude against your mate, baby, that's not coming back around to their, this, this comfy cozy. Not like you want it to be and not like how it used to be. Hey, my Patty Jeb. Because they love you regardless of the fact. Your ass can be dead wrong. You know, you always changing the story or adding a little extra. It may just be flat out telling the fucking truth. But once you tell them that negativity about that person, they are not going to see that person the same. And you can't cry. You can't plead. You can't do nothing to them to make their feelings change. They could be nice, but deep down in here, it's always there. And they're like, mm. That money. Mm, mm, mm. And you like, let it go. And it, no, bitch, you shouldn't. Don't say nothing. Shh. If you're not whooping off in your ass and you need help, then you just shut up about it. You hop in that motherfucking car. You hop on your bike. You put on your tennis shoes or some pumps, whatever, flip flops. And if you need to walk around the corner to the park and just talk to your fucking self to get it out. It will help you. Trust me. Cause I walked around some blocks, baby. Some because <laughs> I needed to get it out, and I never discussed stuff with my best friends. I never called home and told my family shit because it was nothing that they could do. I mean, he wasn't whooping my ass, so. I need to call my brothers and be like, yeah, and this motherfucker did it, did it, did getting everybody all ready to throw. No, 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 no. That's one thing you can't do. My, my next, well, my next relationship, and I hope it's my last, because when I'm with you, I'm with you. I want them to absolutely be my best friend. Meaning, you know me. You don't have to worry about the bullshit. I can be open with you. All that. We can hang out, have a good time. You know, all that. A lot of people in relationships where they're not really, they're in relationships, but it's like, y'all not in a relationship. That's not a relationship what y'all doing. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. People do have relationships all type of ways, but me. A lot of relationships I see today, I'm like, that's not a relationship. I'm like, what the fuck? I think it's like convenience. <clears throat> and fucking just having a little fuck rabbit around. Because some of these relationships, I'm like, well, that's what y'all... Oh, if my boyfriend ever did some shit like that in public, and no, baby, we don't do that. Arguing in public. Can't handle it. Can't handle it. Oh, I can't handle it. Now, you know when I mean business, and I will know when you mean business. And we would just know. Okay, you know what? Because we can't argue in public. We are going to argue. We are going to have fights and stuff like that. We're not going to do this fight. No, ma'am. I can't be with nobody who I'm uppercutting and they body slamming me and I can't. 
You know what I mean? It's just, it's just not, um, it's just not that. But we have to be best friends. Because I want to have fun. A lot of relationships aren't fun. Well, maybe to them. Well, a lot of them ain't fun from what I hear. Shit. <laughs> like, do you know? Do you know? You don't do shit? Damn. I don't know. But... Hopefully you find someone that's the right one. Yeah, if you know, you, <laughs> body slam, bam, uppercut and bam. That's not, a, I can't do that. I don't want to be in a relationship where we have to fight like that. Because once we fight, we ain't cool. And if I feel you got the best of me, I'm coming back. And I feel like every time I see you, I'm going to feel like I have to fight you. So it's like, <clears throat> I can't be with nobody who I'm with and we fighting, whether they body slamming and nah, I, I don't want to do all that, baby. That's too much. I'm going to let this go. Yep, it's still wrapped in plastic. <laughs> but that's not the one I really want, though. I don't want that one. I just bought it because the lamp itself was silver and it was tall. Because my other lamp was so short, it was right behind it was right behind this, my my flowers, so you can see it. And I wanted this higher, but I want a, a rhinestone, not a rhinestone. What is that? Oh, I don't want to get up and show you, honey. But it's like glass or marbles or something sparkly right up in that area. Because all of this is supposed to be like trimmed in purple. And then the wall's going to be gray. And then they have a piece that go in the center that matches the, the damn lampshade. But I've been going to every Ross possible. And I can't find the fucking lampshades now that I fucking want them. So I'm just all fucked up right now, Jim. But I'm going to get it together, Jim. I can't figure out what color I want on the walls. I done got three different swatches of gray and purple. I have some other color that looked almost like a damn rose pink. I'm like, uh-uh, not in my house. Girl, no. And I had to tell the lady who was helping me, I said, baby, you are talking to a gay man who, <laughs> bisexual man, whatever. I was like, baby, you're talking to a gay man who don't want his house to look gay. I said, I do drag. You wouldn't even know I did drag if you walked in my house. So I don't want it. She was like, oh, because she was like, well, bring this color out. I'm like, girl, that's too gay for me, girl. That's too woman. That's that's woman, baby. That's trying to make it masculine. You know for me. I'm a bachelor, Jim. She was like, oh, okay. Then she said, yeah, you may want to do something a little dark. I'm like, okay. But I've never been good with like, walls and colors and all that shit for houses. I'm like, I don't know. So it's just taking me forever to decide. But I need to decide. Because my mama coming up here. And she... <laughs> she gonna ask some questions. And I don't even want to go through that. And then she'll try to sit around and I'm like, oh lord. Let me get this man to do this shit so she can just freelance and go home and not come down here trying to do all my shit. Yeah, I'm a bachelor, Jill. She was making the, I mean, it sounded nice, but I'm like, that's, baby, that's, that's for a woman. I don't want, I don't want that. I don't live with one. Well, I'm not in a relationship with one. So... You know, I don't have to live with that. Now, if I was in a relationship with a woman, then she'd do whatever she want to do it. I don't give a damn. You could be Barbie all around this motherfucker. I would have not one problem. That's how you wanted it. I'm good with that. 
you know what? You got to compromise in relationships, though. Certain things you just have to, okay, you know. And it's not all about, I'm grown, I'm grown, I do what I want. No, we know you grown. That's obvious your fucking ass is grown. But some things, <clears throat> you just have to sit back and just think about it. Maybe a few seconds after whatever. And then you just be like, you know what, it ain't that bad, fuck it. And that's why we have the words, I can work on it. So if you do something that you, you know, y'all trying to work out and change around, then maybe you say, I'm trying to work on it. I'm working on it. So it's going to take time. Just give me time and we're working on it. You know? It works, you Because you can't say, oh, baby, can you please stop? Leaving your damn drawers in the in the damn bathroom, you know y'all just moved in together, okay, baby. But he's do it, but it's like he been living by himself so long until now he's with you and it bothers you. He have to work on it. Not that he's doing it on purpose. Give him time, you know. You can't be like, did I just tell you that? No, calm down. I'm used to being by my motherfucking self. We just moved in. Shit, I give I leave my drawers in there until whatever. I don't leave my drawers in there, but you know, just an example. Oh yeah, my little girl, I don't know what I was saying in the first part. I didn't know what I was saying happened, that number. They was coming in and coming out. It was my first time. I was hyped as fuck. I made that outfit in about two hours. My sister was doing my hair. Mother Divine Chanel. The icon. How's the Chanel? I need to find that hair too. I need to bump that back out. And that was human. That wasn't no synthetic, baby. She had cut that shit up so quick. I said, girl, I need this Nicki Minaj hair. I'm doing it tonight. I got everything. I just need your hands over here. And your sisters. She came right on over and whipped that shit up. She did my hair like an hour and 15 minutes. She was going quick. That bitch whipped that shit up. Full weave on a stocking cap. I was in it to win it. I still got my hair in the bag. I need to bring her back out. That's some awesome advice. Yes. Okay, what advice? What I say, Ju? I picked my drag name. I was given masters. Um, Because my drag mother asked me to be her daughter before I even did drag. And I'm like, daughter? Bitch, ain't no fucking daughter. What the fuck? I'm a motherfucking man. What's this bitch talking about? But then I understood the lifestyle. So when I was going to win tickets to see Patty LaBelle, my first time in drag, uh, to win some concert tickets, I won. I needed a name. I didn't have a first name. I just had masters. So before the, the announcer announced me, <clears throat> we shot out a couple of names, and I was like, Jasmine. And my friend was like, okay, Jasmine kid. And then the host said, give it up for Jasmine Masters. And I went on down there and won the contest. And then Jasmine was asked to perform the next night. So I never had a chance to even change my name if I wanted to. Because Jasmine Masters is all over the damn city. Just just that quick. Because I tore that ass up doing Patty to win them tickets. I had no choice. Then my bitch had to go. I was, uh, woo, baby. Mm, my lord. I still have the pictures. I made my wig. One day I'm going to reveal them pictures. One day. <laughs> when I get Oprah status. I'm going to reveal those pictures. And I still have them today. 
And I keep saying I'm going to reveal those pictures one day. Just wait. Maybe one day I get a talk show, goddamn it, and I can say, now look. This was where I started, and this is where I'm at. So who knows? Baby, I'm not posting pictures right now, no ma'am. Uh-uh, I don't need them memes going around. Oh, hell no. When I want to when I want to have y'all talking, I'll post them videos. I mean them pictures. But not right now, just. Yep, Patty LaBelle. My friend was like, "Bitch, you winning them tickets to the concert. We was in the club. And we was doing and I was drinking on some Hennessy and Coke. Ah, mm -mm. And that bitch said, the DJ was like, oh, yeah, don't forget, we have an our Pay LaBelle contest right here. The best Pay LaBelle impersonator went two tickets to see Pay LaBelle, so something like that. I got the Nelson Sprinkle Theater downtown. My friend looked at me, bitch, you winning us those tickets. And, you know, I was always over the house, and that's all I played was Patty, 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 Patty. I had, like, 12 BCR tapes. Still got them. Nothing was just her on there. <clears throat> so, baby... When that day came, honey, that bitch was like, girl, you ready? Where are we going? <laughs> oh, bitch, you doing this contest. <clears throat> I was like, okay. I said, well, let me see what I can find in the closet and sneak up out of here, you know. So I went in there. I looked. I grabbed a little church outfit, grabbed some pups. Looked around, found me one of those short, ugly wigs. Snatched her up, grabbed some of that human hair. My cousin them left over there because that was their hair. Snatched that up, bitch. Let me go and make this wig. Went over to my friend's house and made that wig. Stole some makeup out of my auntie makeup uh, thing because she was an Avon lady. So I took all the makeup. All of it had to smell right, but I never knew what makeup smelled like. So, um, I just knew it just had, like, this stint to it. But this shit was stale and old, baby. I put that nasty shit all over my face. That shit came out white. And all I knew was, is what I thought I seen the girls look like. <laughs> and what I was seeing the girls do in the back. Performance across the board. That face in the good. Mm, my Lord. And I look at them pictures all the time and I just smile. Like, look at my baby. But I'm not ashamed of them at all. Not one fucking bit. Not one fucking bitch, I'm not. Because that motherfucker right there was like, bitch, I'm up out of here. And I've been shh, ever since. Wonderful life. My favorite Patty song is You Are My Friend. And you know, no shade. Before my best friend died, I think he died the day after, or like two days after that. He was like, you know, this is it. Like, if you can't make it, I want you to try to make it. I couldn't make it because everything was just, it was just like last, it was just like a phone call, like, bitch, this is it. Like, Wait, what? But anyway, he just told me, like, whenever I do that song, just think of him. Cause that was his favorite song that in his, my favorite his favorite performance of me doing. Yeah, but I have always loved that song from the first time I ever heard it. It just always just it just. Oh my god! The first time I heard it, then I seen her perform it. Oh my god! That song have always been the one. But yeah, that's what he told me. So you know I. 
make sure I rip a new one every time I bust that out. So he can get his gear. Baby, we had toward the highways and byways. Ah! <laughs> That was my bitch, though. <coughs> that was my bitch. And you know what? <laughs> that was one person that I did tell everything to. Every time me and my boyfriend got into it and I want, I packed my shit up, that bitch used to drive up that fucking coast and pack my shit up every time. And I bounced out quite often because I'm the type bitch, what? Fuck that. I'm out this bitch. And that was, I was young then. But every time I bounced back, that bitch came and got my ass. If I needed to take my shit back, that bitch took my shit back, cussed me out all the way like, girl, I know. I'm sorry, sis. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. At least about eight times. And I said, yeah, about six, eight times, that bitch to hop in that car, come and get me. I'm like, bitch, I'm already packed. And I'm talking like, this is like an hour drive where I was staying. This bitch was hopping that damn, what was that? Uh, damn. We used to call her Miss Peaches. What kind of car is that? It's in the tip of my tongue. Yep, and come give my sh come give me and my shit. We had packed that motherfucking bitch up every time. That was my ace boom fucking cones. <sighs> and then my cousin, he passed away. Like, <clears throat> was it like a year or so? I think after. And we was all like this, like, it was me and my cousin, and then I met my best friend at the club. The first night we met, we just been cool ever since. Ever since. The first night we met at the club, we was cool ever since. That bitch stayed 10 minutes away from me. I'm like, bitch, I live right, right there. Just clink. Uh, I was still in high school. That bitch was in the Navy. Grown as fuck. We got fake IDs. The fuck, me and my cousin was doing it. It was in the motherfucking streets. Getting our fucking judge. Now they're up there in heaven looking down, getting that just for me. Don't know how. Honestly, I'm so proud of you. Oh, thank you, Jess. You know, oh, <clears throat> it's hard, though. November 5th of this year? I'm sorry, love. It's hard, though. It really is hard. But you know what? I just know, I know for a fact, they wanted me to, you know, to do all this lifestyles, all this big stuff. So, I hurt, you know, I do hurt, I, I get sad sometimes, but then I know, like, for real, I still feel their presence near me on certain things. Like, I could think about them, a song could come on, I get the chills, and because it flashed me back to them, I get the chills or something, or whatever, but overall, I'm just like, that was their time that we had, and I can remember all of them times. And shit, I just think back and just get back in that moment. But I still have to live my life because, you know, I'm sure they don't want me to be sad and, you know, just moping around and just, you know, distraught because you're going to be. But you still have to just say, okay, let me live and be happy in my life because I am going to die one day. Don't know how, don't know when, but one day at some time it's going to say, 
So you have to just move on and just start being happy. Start living happy for yourself. But maybe once it's over, it's over. What we do? Shit. Okay, so, you know, if we do go to heaven, if there is somewhere after our spirit go to, but here on earth, we're not. We're not going to be touching this and doing all this. We're not. So you have to just say, you know, I enjoyed the time, you know, cry about it, but start living happy because it's going to sink, it should sink in that one day it's going to be you just. And I have lived like that for so long because I have lost so many people in my life. So it just, bitch, be fucking happy. Fuck them. Shit. Because they're going to say it whether you're alive. They're going to say it whether you're dead. So it don't even fucking matter. You just have to just live it and just start being happy. You know, I go, when I go to, like, when I be travel and stuff, I always, you know, no, not sounding weird or nothing, but I always say, hey, bitch, y'all, I'm here. Nail, I'm here. Eric, we here. Bitch, look where I made it. You know what I mean? Because I know they would be so happy to see me going all these different places, if not being right there with me. You know, so I just, I just live now in so much happiness, and I've always lived this way. Anyway, but I really enjoy it and really love it because it's going to be all of a sudden, and we don't know when. We just got to just say, you know what? We had our fucking times. I enjoyed them. You know, you could cry because you're going to miss them. And that's, that's natural. That's life. That's human. That's the love. That's heart. That's your spirit. You're going to cry. It's okay to cry. But you have to be happy, though. You have to be happy because you, you were so happy they was here. That's why you're crying. Celebrate that part and be happy with that. Because they left something here for you to remember them by. And if you have all happy thoughts, then you have all happy thoughts. You have some bad ones, you probably ain't going to cry. You know, but get out there and just say, you know, we did that. Happy times and everything and keep living. Just be happy. I'm, I promise you. It don't even matter. And I was when I was performing last night, and I was just walking around talking to the people after the show. I was just I felt so honored to have people come up to me and to just speak to me, want to take pictures with me. Hugging me and stuff. I just felt so honored last night by that. And I don't know what it was. I was just like, oh my God, this is so beautiful. Telling me like, oh my God, you were so wonderful. Your number and this and you. It was just like, wow. Like who could live like this? Like who? Bitch, I don't have time to be sad. Shit. That's why I paid my rent early, Jen. So I could be fucking happy. I get depressed when I got to pay rent. I get depressed when I got to pay my fucking car note. Shit, because that's a big hunk of change out your pocket. Shit, that's why I said 2018, fuck that. I'm bringing that bitch in, making coin thotters. Thotters, Because, baby, I need to just Oh, I can't my fucking judge. Like right now, I just feel like I could just sit on my motherfucking ass and put my feet up and just say, bitch, I'm going to take the whole month off and not work. Maybe just go somewhere and just have some fun. And I feel like that because I don't have to pay motherfucking rent and I don't have to, I don't have to pay a fucking car note. So I'm like, bitch, I'm sitting on this motherfucking money like, bitch. 
I need to really go out there and enjoy myself. But I don't know. But I'm thinking about the gym. But that's just how I feel. But I'm not going to take a month off. Because I got goals. And my goals, um, I have me working and making money moves. <laughs> But I just feel like I can. And I honestly know I can because I had took a big chunk of money that just was blessed to me and took care of my biggest problems. Yeah, Jim. I did that. Hey, Jim, can you give a shout out? Okay. Hey, Kathy. What's going on, Kat, 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 Kathy? I'm trying to get my jib. Okay, money move. Okay. <clears throat> uh, thank you, Jib. Okay, shout out. Oh, thank you. I love my Katia and Trixie. Every time I make... Oh, thank you. Hey, uh, Claudia. Every time um, I post a video, Trixie always calls me. Or text me. And then Katya sent me a note. Like, I fucking love you, retard. Or something crazy. <laughs> or she'll say your mouth. <laughs> your fucking mouth. Like, girl. What am I fucking do, Jib? I just say what it is, Jib. But yeah. I need some coffee. I think I want to play. Who I want to listen to? I'm trying to think of what kind of music I want to start off today with. What am I doing for Christmas? I might be having my ass at home. But while I'm out, while I'm out a towel, which would be Atlanta. While I'm out, oh, I don't want to think about that. That, that, that ain't going to happen. Let me not, let me out. Okay. While I'm out in Atlanta, I'm either going to come home from there, which would be like the 20 something, or I'm going to go somewhere else. But I'm going to, you know, work out and see, um, well, we're going to see if I can get booked somewhere while I'm on that side of town. Because no shade. Baby, you look on Southwest, <clears throat> and you see where Southwest go for forty nine ninety nine. Shit. That's why I'm going to Orlando. Because I ain't never been. Oh, that's where I'm going. I'm going to be in Orlando. So either I'm going to stay like in Miami for Christmas and then go to Chicago from there or I'm going to come back home. I haven't decided yet. Because right now, shit, I'm really like, I could do whatever. <laughs> I have all that out. When I say I wore that out, I wore that out. Baby, let me take care of this writ and this cardinal. Thank the Lord. And I swear I didn't miss that money. I felt like I was just ready to just throw it to them. Here, take this shit. Take that. Don't call me. Don't send me nothing in the mail for two months. I don't want to see them two items no more. And I had went so long without a card note until I was like, okay, I don't want this strap. It's completely out. This hold them died. She can't go over 65. It's not safe anymore. So, oh, this thing is going to cut off. I don't know. I want to do the drag world um, in the UK, but they haven't asked me yet, Jen. It's going to cut off. Hopefully next year, though. 
Okay.